From bizarre, terrifying parasites on land to strange worms and creatures in the seas, here are 17 terrifying worms and parasites. Hey, Kevin McCall, thanks for the kind words and for taking the time to let us know you subscribe to Epic Wildlife. That makes us very happy critters indeed. And now let's take a look at some of the weird critters on a list. And remember to tell us in the comments how you liked it. Cheers. Giant Palaus earthworm. Now, not much is known about this critter. It was discovered in Washington State in 1897 and was thought to have gone extinct in the 1980s. Evidence of the animal surfaced in 2010, though, indicating the species might still be alive. They're said to have an albino appearance and measure more than three feet long. While it has been claimed that the worms could spit in self-defense and exuded a flowery scent, the specimens recovered in 2010 did not exhibit those attributes. Hammerhead worm. Just looking at the shape of this worm's noggin tells you why it's known as the hammerhead worm. It's the largest species of flatworm, and in addition to its bizarre appearance, it has some weird behavior too. They normally kill the prey by ingesting the vital fluid, but if prey is scarce, the critter will feed upon itself by digesting its own tissues. It uses a process of fragmentation to reproduce, that is, by tearing off pieces of its body. The sections will grow new heads in two weeks or so. Now, obviously, it being a worm, it has no skeleton. It also has no circulatory or respiratory systems either, which kind of makes it typecasting for a horror movie, don't you think? Bristle worms. It's easy to understand how these marine creatures got the name. The body segments have fleshy protrusions that have a lot of bristles, which are made of chitin. You'll notice that a few of these bristle-type worms show up on this list, and that's because there are more than 10,000 species of these animals, which are more formally called polychaetes. They can exist throughout the world's oceans in a number of environments, from the deep freezing waters of the abyssal plain to variations that can tolerate the scalding temperatures found near thermal vents. And one of the best known species is the Christmas tree worm, which kind of looks as if it ought to have little presents scattered underneath it. Giant blue earthworms. Now these big critters are found in Australia and can measure nearly 10 feet long. In the picture, it doesn't look so much like an earthworm, right? As it does a huge snake that someone decided to Photoshop with a blue coloration. They're known to spend a lot of the time in the soils along stream banks that are blue or gray. You think that could have something to do with the strange coloration? Fireworms. You'll find these long, flattened creatures in tropical waters of the Atlantic Ocean. And with their multiple segmented bodies, they do have a resemblance to centipedes. They're known to favor coastal marine environments where the coloring can help them stay camouflaged in rocks, mud, and corals. Now this one is also called the bearded fireworm, and that is a reference to the bristles, which are sharp enough to cut into human flesh. When flared out, the bristles are capable of injecting a potent neurotoxin that can result in dizziness and nausea. Velvet worms. They can grow up to 8 inches long, and that name comes from the soft texture and the worm-like appearance. But these creatures are actually known as panarthropods, meaning they can have segmented bodies, claws, and more than 40 pairs of legs. Velvet worms can squirt out an adhesive slime to capture prey like insects, and they can also shoot the slime as a means to ward off predators. Tapeworms. Now these parasitic flatworms can live in your intestines and cause severe stomach aches, loss of appetite, and diarrhea. The live larvae are often acquired by eating undercooked meat like pork or beef, and then they can grow into a potentially large adult while inside the host. Beef tapeworms are known to grow to some 65 feet. How about that? But the whale tapeworm can reach a length of 100 feet. There's more than a thousand species of these worms, and it is said that all vertebrate species can be affected by at least one of them. Bootlace worms. Here is one of the longest animals known to exist. A specimen discovered washed ashore in Scotland in 1864 is said to have measured 180 feet long and nearly four inches wide. Now, if that is not scary enough, it excretes a thick mucus that is said to be toxic and is used for self-defense against predators. While some of our sources indicated that the great length of that specimen may not have been verified, 180 feet would make it longer than the lion's mane jellyfish, which is generally considered to be the world's longest existing animal. The largest of its kind was found in 1870 and had tentacles that measured some 121 feet long. 
ribbon worms. Now these are also known as proboscis worms, and that is a reference to the tongue-like appendage that normally sits deep in the critter's gut. But it will shoot out of its mouth to hook onto prey, sometimes injecting venom. The proboscis can extend more than three times the worm's body length, and they can range from around eight inches to more than three feet long. Not only can some species stretch the bodies for more than 10 times the length while at rest, they can also reduce the length by half. And when disturbed, the animals are capable of ballooning the width some 300%. Ribbon worms can be found in a variety of colors, including shades of red, yellow, as well as green. giant tube worms. Now it looks and sounds like something from out of a horror movie, but these creatures are very real and often live several miles deep on the Pacific Ocean floor. They can tolerate extremely high levels of hydrogen sulfide emitted by hydrothermal sea vents or black smokers. Reaching lengths of more than seven feet, they have the fastest growth rate of any marine invertebrate. Horsehair worms. These creatures can reach some pretty scary lengths around two meters or six and a half feet long and three millimeters in diameter. And they grow so long, they can literally tie themselves into knots. It's one reason why they're also known as Gordian worms after the legendary Gordian knot. They're often found in wet areas like streams, swimming pools, and puddles. The larvae are parasitic and will feed off of beetles, cockroaches, and mantids, among other insects. And did you know that after inhabiting the host, the worm eventually explodes outwards, not unlike that xenomorph in Alien? And here's a nice visual. It can look like a long strand of spaghetti curling out of its victim. King ragworm. These creatures are also called sandworms, but not because of any connection to dune. That's due to the habit of burrowing into the wet sand and mud. They can exceed four feet in length and have external gills along the sides of the bodies that serve as a means of transport. The gills are said to appear like tiny legs. And while they're often commercially grown for use as live sea bait, humans need to be careful around them. The ragworm's blue head has strong pincer teeth that can deliver a fierce bite. Pig butt worm. This marine critter seems to have a shape like no other, at least if we're going by the picture. It could be an inflated balloon or maybe one of those floats being displayed at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Although you would have to wonder exactly what does it represent? Now this creature is known as the pig butt worm and will leave you to connect the dots regarding its name. And did you know, it's only about the size of a hazelnut. Spoon worms. Now you might not think so at first glance, but this is a form of marine life, even though they look more like a form of extraterrestrial life. More than 200 species have been described, and they are identified by their rather unique and cylindrical shape, hence the name. Did you know that in some countries, this worm is commonly eaten raw or used as stir fry with vegetables? After you. Bobbit worms. Now, earlier we mentioned that ragworms had no connection to dune, but bobbit worms are big marine creatures that might have a little more in common with those monster sandworms from the sci fi classic, at least in terms of the size. Bobbit worms aren't quite as big as the ones in dune, but at more than 10 feet long, there's still some massive creatures. They're known as fearsome ambush predators that like to bury themselves in the ocean bed and lurk among the mud and corals. The toxic bristles can impart severe skin irritation upon contact, but the bristles also serve as a means to detect prey arriving in the vicinity. The worms will attack quickly, and they use those scary sharp teeth to cut the victims in half. Our number one selection is just ahead, but first let's take a look at a couple of honorable mentions. We found a few critters that look so much like worms that they could fool you, but they're actually completely different species. Kaecilians definitely look like worms, but they really belong to a group of amphibians that have no limbs. They live hidden in the ground, which is unusual for amphibians, and because of that, there's still a lot that is completely unknown about them. Larger species of these critters can grow more than four feet long, and that makes them kind of resemble snakes as well. Now, some other creatures like legless lizards resemble worms or snakes too. In this case, the resemblance to snakes is more understandable since they're reptiles. Now, over time, the limbs have either been reduced or lost altogether, making them useless in the animal's 
Locomotion. Unlike snakes, they have physical characteristics like eyelids that set them apart. They can look a lot like worms too. The California legless lizard grows to around 7 inches and can indeed have a worm-like appearance. Well, from a distance anyway. Oscarid worms. These giant roundworms can grow up to 14 inches long and can invade humans through consumption of contaminated food or water that carries their eggs. The eggs will hatch in the intestines where juveniles mature. Now sometimes the worms are so plentiful that they get tangled up and can completely block the intestine, which is what the picture illustrates. Now sometimes the worms are so plentiful that they can get all tangled up and will completely block the intestine, which is what certain pictures can illustrate. Now in those cases, the parasites have to be surgically removed. Experts estimate that at least one-sixth of the world's population is infected with these worms. So yeah, we're saying there's a chance.